Welcome. We were coloring in our Lost Ocean book again. I did this octopus, or it's a jellyfish fish actually, and I did it mostly um, the way Peter Hewitt did it. And um, I'm very, very happy with it. It turned out so cute. Really, <clears throat> really close to hers. So what I'm doing now is using the same colors in my little fish. And I started it in the eye to see if this is going to work. And um, so far, it is. So sometimes we surprise ourselves. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to move you down, and we are going to work on this little fish, and um, we're going to see what we can get done today to make it look in the same colors as the octopus. turn my fan down it was getting kind of cold so let's see what we can do so I've started out um, let me turn my music down with my um, eye I just wasn't sure that I was going to be able to capture the same colors and I'm thinking, this thing is totally different. How am I going to do this? So, that's what I'm working on right now. Is just this part here. And I'm very pleased with the way the eye turned out. So, we're going to keep going. Now, I did put some ivory all around all the way through this part here just like this part of the jellyfish here so I'm just going to try to remember what I did and I think we just use the cream we are doing the polychromos she, she suggested another color, also another pencil, but I don't, I didn't have them. So, um, this is what we're going to do. And I'm just going to kind of go part way up, just on these little parts right here. Not these things, just these little little parts that was kind of hard to tell what what part that was okay so I think we can make him look pretty cool just like the uh, Oops, I went too far up. Oh, well. I don't want to go all the way to the top. I'm just going to stay down below. I don't know. I'm sure I've seen, you know how we are. We've seen a million of um, pictures done. But I'm, you know, I don't, I don't remember. I've watched so many videos. So... This is dark chromium yellow, uh, 109. So it looks like I kind of, we did the kind of the center. Or maybe just, maybe we'll just do the lower part. The 
because even though you can't see it, there is ivory underneath these. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out, I think we'll do just a little bit. I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. I've been wanting to do this octopus since I've seen her do this. I've only been coloring for four months. So now let's take the cream and I'm just going to come back in here. Just kind of. I do have the ivory, I mean, ivory, not cream. I'm sorry. I get confused. When I switch colors, switch brands of pencils, they call them different things. I was listening to her as she was talking, and she says one day she's going to take all of her favorite pencils, no matter what brand or what they are, because she likes certain colors, and she's going to mix them all together and put them in one little container. And I said, there you go. Even she said you could mix these together. So, and I have. Because there are colors that I love in other, other ones. And I, I just, I just love them. So now, on the other one, we did the deep red. So I'm going to do these little things here in the deep red it's not deep red this is dark red I'm still hearing her voice in my head in the deep red I love her accent so we're just going to keep adding and working out the colors that are in our our uh, jellyfish because I love these colors she's a very good teacher if you want to you got this book and you want to do this jellyfish like that we're close to it you know I, 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 I changed it up some I changed the edging I changed some of the colors in the tentacles the main part of the body uh, is 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 as close to what I could do as what she did. This is changing up a little bit, so I'm just gonna I got all of my housework done today before. I did anything. I got my laundry done. I got the plants watered. I got the floor done. I got. I went shopping. Got my groceries. I was like, wow. It all came together. So now, is this the same color? I'm just going to go back over it and deepen it. This was the um, dark chromium yellow. So I'm just in the very bottom. I'm just making it darker. Hitting all the little doodads. I remember if I started this C. I think I started the body part last night.
and then in between <laughs> my chores I uh, okay just come back through here just one more time So it's just a matter of mixing some of these colors. And I think when we get into the bottom pieces of the fins, we'll go into the uh, purples, um, some of the colors down in here. We'll use these colors to do the fins more. Okay, so, so we're getting pretty close of looking um, close. So we took, let's see, I have a few of the colors in, in my jar, so I'm going to pull them all out and lay them down here because I want to see all of my colors that I used. And the purples are all the colors and the pinks for the bottom part. Okay. I'm just looking. So now we're going to grab this. Let me see what color this is. Uh -huh, glazed orange. I think I think we use the uh, dark caddy orange. And so we're going to start, hmm, where are we going to start? I think right here because this just keeps looping around. I'm going to go all the way around and into this empty kind of space. Because this is all kind of orange and yellow below it. We'll use the lighter orange in the bottom and the yellow. But I just wanted to Put this in here for now I think you know I, I'm not sure this is even filming this I was like are you sure I thought well you know let's try it when I got the eye part done I said okay let, let's go let's just see what happens You gotta keep your pencils pretty sharp on these little bitty guys. And these are polychromos if I didn't say. Okay, did I get it all? Let me make sure I got all the little white spots. Okay, so then I'm thinking, how are we going to do this part? I thought something was under my book. I think right here. We're going to do, what did she do? White, 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 white. Okay. We do have to get the white in here. So I'm just going to do the ends in white. Then I'm going to come with this dark chrome yellow. And I'm going to come up into here. 
And it's going to just get lighter because we got that white in there. And that will look pretty. And let's see what else. Okay, so we're going to move to yellow. And all of these little spots we're going to make yellow. Yellow, yellow, and this is cad yellow, in case I didn't say, and 107, boy, I found out it really helps if somebody tells you what number it is, <laughs> and the color, so you kind of know what color you're looking for, and then you know by the number for sure you found the right one, and, um, So I just needed to watch a few videos myself and it helps. Maybe a better at what I do. He's got a lot of designs. I don't normally, I don't like doing a lot of designs particularly um, I'm looking at this to see what what we did looks like in the orange we did this again The pictures that have lots and lots of little details in it that, that's not my happy place this one is on the edge <laughs> but because I really wanted it to be come up with the same colors so your guess is as good as mine what this is going to look like so far it looks good though I don't have no complaints I was talking to my little friend and I call her little because she's just a small bone person <laughs> I call her my little friend but uh we were just talking and she was color and I was color and we were on the phone she says you know this really is good therapy I said I know I think right now that's that's what I need just some peace and quiet. So much is going on. Woohoo. Okay, so then let's see. Hmm, I'm thinking about what, what to do with this. What should we do with that? To make it keep blending. Because we don't want to we want to keep everything until we get into the fins into the purple at least that's my thought so I think we're going to come back in with the cream the ivory I guess this one is the 103 ivory and I'm going to just come across all of these little things including that little tiny line might as well get it now and we can leave it, leave it ivory. And we don't have to go across it. Oh, I know what we're gonna do. Oh, you'll like this. This is, 
this is pretty I like this ivory and then put that turquoise in here and on top of this ivory it is really pretty I went and got me a glass of water before I started and guess where it's at it's in the kitchen okay where's my little brush there it is this one. I don't think there's anything, but just in case. So now I'm going to come back with the uh, cobalt green, and that's 156. And I'm just going to go all the way out, but not to the end. And then we're going to come back in and get the very tip of this in the darkest, darkest part. So this we're just going to use it as another layer. And that will give it a real change and a pop. Because in the eye, I did it the two different colors. I did the light color and then I went around it with the dark cobalt turquoise and then I use the light orange the dark chromium yellow around the flower and then I went around and around the flower with the dark the dark red just on the very edge and then I used the this color this light color around this circle then I use the dark one around the outside I used the cream in here and then I came in with the uh, orange just halfway around that and uh, then the little balls are all the dark red round around and then you saw the rest we did the cream the orange and then the colors so now we're going to take our cobalt blue and it's good and sharp so I'm just trying to just barely especially where it's really really tiny Go halfway up this. So I, I only want to go like up to here. And let the other two colors show through. That's my idea. And I'm going to make sure my shoulders are relaxed. If your shoulders are relaxed, you start relaxing more. Right? All right, well, I'm going to turn my book. I keep everything in glass jars, so that's what you hear clinging and clanging and clogging. 
All right, are we in? Looks like we are in the groove. And then we'll come back with that light blue and we're going to blend it. Okay, so let's come back. Some of this we can bring down to the edge a little farther so that we don't have quite so much, just the tips, the very tips. I'm just going over it, let it blend itself out a little bit. Didn't that make a pretty outline? Now where's my... And I'm just going to come in with this one. And just kind of burnishing it in. Pressing down. Just kind of going around and around. Okay. And then you can actually come around here with this darker color. Just, just a little bit. Just to bring it out more. Just a tiny bit around that eye, but make it go dark. There's a space I've missed there. And there we go. That part's done. So now, Let's see, I'm thinking about this, I'm going to put whatever this little thing is, and there's some little bees, I'm just going to put in there, and let's put some orange on that one. And the dark red at the very end of his nose. And we're just going to keep working that out. I have no clue what's going to happen, but we're going to keep it going. Let's put a little ivory in there. Alright, so now we got his upper lip. Let me look over here. Okay. Let's do the dark chromium yellow. I'm going to just fill it in. Okay, that looks pretty. And I was thinking we would just, on the very, very, very edge, do the dark red. Just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit. Okay. So now we've got a whole little menagerie here. Oh, lordy. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm going to color it all in one color with a dark orange 
chromium orange. What is that 115? Yeah, that'll be good. Get rid of some of the busyness. I know a lot of people would really enjoy just getting in there and coloring every little teeny spot. But I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And then we're going to leave the fins alone. We're going to work on, on his body. So... Everything over there. I'm looking at the other side. And I think, where is it? I'm going to... Oh, we got this little thing. What is that? Let's... Come in with our dark blue. And I'm a little heavy-handed here. And for now, we'll leave it like that. I just smeared a little bit. Okay, where's this? Okay, so... I want to color all of these, first of all, with the ivory. There's something about going over the colors with the ivory. It just makes it such a pretty color. Then we'll come in and work with these little guys. I'm giving it a good little heavy coat. We're going to come all the way down into here. This kind of gives it a gray look so you, uh, you can see where you've where you've colored and where you haven't, so that helps. It's not like the white, you don't have a clue where you did and where you didn't. And that was something I was supposed to do over there, is come back in with a, the pasta pen and do some white. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to I'm going to do these in the centers. I don't care what shape they are. Maybe. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm going to do the whole thing because I don't know. This has got all the lines. It doesn't have a, doesn't have a center. So wing it. Just... No, I don't know what I'm doing yet. All I know, then we're gonna do some darker orange. I'm gonna do both layers. I went out of the line, so that's good enough. I like this color. When you look at your pages and they make you happy and you just feel peaceful, then you've accomplished what you're doing. 
My little friend told me today, she says, you know, as I look through my color books, and she's been coloring longer than I have. She says it, it reminds you what you were doing when you were coloring it, what you were thinking or going through. And I said, I, I noticed that today too. I was looking at something. I remember my first color book was the little cats, the Amazon one, which we'll, we'll do something in. I need to color in some of my other books too. But, uh, I just remember, you know, I had that horrendous flu that was going around or whatever it was, and then it turns into pneumonia at Christmas. I was sick for a month. It's horrible. I was starting to feel better, and then all of a sudden, boom, I got sick again. And it took me three weeks to get over the second run to where I even felt normal. I lost a lot of weight. I couldn't eat. I couldn't eat. I'd take a few bites of something, and I would just set it down and back to bed and back to sleep. But in the meantime, I had gotten that little book and I wanted to color in it so bad. But I was too sick to set up, so I maybe 15 minutes I would color. And then off, off to bed I would go again. I have some really cute color books. I just want to... I want to color in everything. Okay. So now let's take our orange. And wherever we can, we're going to go around the edge. Oops. And I'm thinking, let's try this. Let's do half and half. And then come across it with the red. So on either side. And then do a little red. That'll be pretty. I don't know. We're going to skip that one for now. I don't know unless we kind of do just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit there. This is just the deep red or the dark red. Hmm. Interesting, huh? When we just set our mind to doing something and do it. Gonna see if
Oops. So I think we can just come in here and go ahead and color them all. It's going to be pretty cool. This is the picture right behind all the little fishies underneath the sea. We did on did him just a day or so ago. Sometimes if I don't put all the little things on, I just put one of these things on my finger and it helps. You can see that red make that that just makes it perfect. If you want to do it all at once, do it however makes you happy. We'll see what happens when we add the purples into here. A couple spots I didn't get very good. Just doing it real lightly, back and forth, back and forth, until it gets dark. Instead of pressing down, because then it blends better. Whoops, whoops. Stop, stop, stop in the name of the law. <laughs> Hadn't done that part yet.
I'm going to have to get my water. Please excuse me for one second. <laughs> Sometimes it tastes so good. Oh, that looks pretty. Sometimes you got to get up and walk away. I just didn't know if I could do this. I was just like, I don't know, but I think it's going to work out okay. All this little stuff around the edges takes a lot of time. Let's see, did I get them all? We're getting there. But we're going to do one more thing. We're going to add just a touch of blue. in the center of these little Okay, I still got some little Places that are still a little white. Oh, so now I missed one. Oh, I missed more than one. I thought I was done. And I wasn't. Making sure I get all these little spots. All right, where did we leave off? We got one here. We did those.
and here. It's really pretty here today. I had a sweatshirt on, but that's all I needed to go to the store. What did we do with this one? I think we just did a little bit in here. Do, do, do. Wow. When you're coloring, does it surprise you how pretty they look? Sometimes I just like, wow. On your on your own, not mine. <laughs> Did you get them all? I think so. Well, you could put these colors together with a lot of things. All right, so what I want to do is just, just add a little bit, like a little half circle. Just put it in that one. That one's pretty dark already. Come back over it and I think somebody's having a party outside already. Might be my neighbor. He was out there working all day and trimming the trees. He was building something. Couldn't figure out what he was building. <laughs> He was too busy. I wasn't going to ask him, what are you building? I think it had something to do with his barbecuer. I should have did this in the first place. It would have been prettier and darker. But that's okay. It'll be okay. So if you do yours, do, do yours first. Did I get them all? Okay. So now let me t come back in with this one. I'm just going to blend them a little bit.
I'm pressing down because it's pulling it up and out of that little kind of blending it around. I'm going to go to an open mic tomorrow night. That should be interesting. Anybody who can play an instrument, sing, do whatever. I'm always checking my corners. I'm always, when I first started, I was pulling, pulling this up. Alright, so now I think we'll do the dark red in these little guys. I'm not sure I did such a great job with the blue, but it's okay. I'll go back over it again. But for now, I'm going to leave it. I think right in here. And then right in here we'll start with the the color of the tail. Okay, let me put some of the dark turquoise cobalt in here and around these little guys. And I'm thinking, what am I thinking? <laughs> hmm. All right, let's do the cream in here. It's kind of pulling down some of that red, but that'll be okay. And let's put some cream in here. Okay, where's that blue and the red? I need to fill in a little bit more. I think when I was turning the pages, it, um, coloring and the pages were turning on the side is the thin Amazon kind of paper is what it was. Okay. I'm going to move these up here. And let's see, don't go away. Little pencil, stay here. Let's move all the purples and the pinks over here. So, let's start. Let's start with the lighter color, I think. This light magenta. I'm going to color. 
this piece here and we'll come back after we see what we're doing. Okay, and then do some yellow. Probably have to soften that up. But that's what's in the tail of this one over here. And deep, what do we got here? I think, not that one yet, but where's the, here, mauve, 249. Okay, and this is just a, a light lavender. I had to pull it out of my castle art. Um, it's number 42, Wisteria. Because there wasn't that many, and she said, just find something. So I did. Okay. Let's see, light magenta is almost the same. That's the same. Okay. So let's do these. We'll bring it down into here. I don't like that bright yellow. I dulled it down on the other side too. What did I do? I went. I think I. Here. I went over it with the uh, dark chromium yellow. Just kind of dulled it down a little bit. Can let a little bit of it show through. But it's just too yellow. For, I sh should have remembered that. But it still makes a nice, a nice little color there, huh? So. I'm looking over here, and we did put some of the blue down in here. And we will come back and do something here. I just, I just want to wait. Okay. I'm going to do this one too. Oh, 
Oops, I was looking up there and I got out of the line. So, I'm going to put pink in here. This is a fuchsia, right? Yep. Yeah. I don't know. We're just going to see where this takes us. Okay. So, what is this? This is ultramarine. And I'm going to just... I'm going to fill all this in just real softly and gently. It's a very pretty pretty color. Make those lines a little bit heavier. Now that I'm getting to the tail, I need to move it up, huh? Talked to my mom last night. I said, what are you doing? She says, I'm sewing. I said, well, what are you sewing? My mom is 94. She might be 95 now. I don't know. Time gets away from me. But anyway, I said, what are you sewing? She says, oh, I'm trying to take some of my clothes in. I said, oh, okay. She doesn't eat much. Since she's gotten older. She always walks around with a little tiny plate and then Okay, so now, now, I'm looking over here, so now we're going to go back into our magenta, or not magenta, but, um, where is it, light, light magenta, that's what it is, okay, and I'm going to color these in. just don't know if I want to make it too busy down here. That's, that's. I 
think the main thing I'm thinking about. I didn't do a very good job there. I may just come back and work on that. One good thing about light colors, you can come in and, and do some other shades. Let's see. I think this is the color I used. If not, it's darker than a... It's going to make it dark. I'm not pleased with myself with this, this little bit. But I think the dark will look okay. Matter of fact, I like it better. Okay. So I think we'll just use the same color. And do these lines. It'll look better when when we get these colors in the in the side too. We got to get some yellow back in here again. These outlines are fun to do. They're a little bit of work, but they're they're fun. I'm going to do the same thing I did on that one on this side. Let me get my little tail up there. <laughs> Okay, we've got a few that are like this, so I think we'll just keep them little scales.
Okay, so I'm looking and I'm looking. What else did I have that'll be here? Hmm. Well, I think we're gonna do this. Oh, I gotta do those, huh? Well, let's try the Christmas. A little darker. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to do the cream again. And I don't know what we're going to do in here, but we are going to Give it a good little coat. Okay. So now I think I'm going to take the same magenta and fill these in. But let me get my pencil sharpened a little bit. guys in. To just look at the fish, you think, what in the world are you doing? But when you look at the whole page, then you kind of see it. I 
but I do need to bring some of the yellow in. And I think that's what I'm going to do a little bit in here. In the stripes, maybe, huh? Well, this is going to be fun. Okay, I think, I think we're going to use, do, do, do. see if we can bring this down in here a little bit. But I did just a touch of this over there. See if it'll tie tie them together a little more. Yeah, we're not gonna get it finished today. It's fun when I can. I'm still thinking some yellow down here, but I guess this is more yellow than it's a pretty wild fish. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to put a little bit of this orange going up. And sometimes it's best just to wait and see. 
I think that's going to help tie the bottom in at the top. And I'm going to do a little bit here too. Just take my cream and I'm going to go back up and down over it. I try not to smear my blue in. Just back and forth, right there in the middle, kind of. Okay. Okay, so how dark is this one? I just want to a little bit, a little bit up here. This one is the uh, dark cad orange. And then we'll use that yellow and we'll just blend it a little more. It's not yellow, it's it's the uh dark chrome yellow Just kind of blending it in. Gives it a little more dimension. What do you think? So I'm thinking in here too. This is the blue violet. So I'm just going to I'm going to darken the bottom a little bit. I can do the top a little bit. Just underneath. Oops, I went on top. Right there. So Just gonna take my ivory again and just go go over a little bit. So I don't want to darken it. And this will lighten it a little bit, but I'm pushing hard. Okay. 
Now, what did I do with it? This one, I was thinking these little tiny V's like that. And that. And I was thinking we could come in here with that real yellow. Then we'll soften it a little bit. Those are tiny little guys. I'm hardly pressing because I don't want it to be dark. just a little bit not much just a little bit just a tiny tiny bit on top just to soften the yellow so it's still yellow it's just not so yellow <laughs> okay so let's take a dark dark color what is this one? Mauve. And I am not... I am. No, I'm not. I'm just going to make it a line. The, the little tiny boxes, I'm not just... I'm just going to ignore them. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to say I don't like it. It's different. Alright, so I'm just going to come in here with this light mauve. Yeah, magenta. Magenta. Now that is, I was thinking it was uh, something else. I thought it was a different pen. Pencil. Alright, so now this one's going this way. So I think... We're going to come down here. Like this. 
Make sure I'm in there. I am. Okay. We can come back and do something with the dots. Like, where is that? Okay, what is this one? This is purple violet. I thought I said purple, purple, um, velvet. It'll be nice to get out of the house tomorrow night. I don't go too many places. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just doing it. I'm glad there's only one, I don't have to duplicate him. <laughs> okay. Let's do this side like that. I think they definitely are worth the time that it takes to to do all this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Heard a little girl say today, I promise to quit saying okay all the time on a YouTube channel. She must have listened to herself a time before. She must have kept saying, okay, okay, you got it? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, she was just like, I'm not going to do that no more. I'm going to really pay attention. It's just fun. It just, it just, it, it's just fun. I think nowadays if you can find something that's, that's fun, just do it. All right, this is magenta. So I'm just gonna run with it. Oh, he almost got his tail done.
looks pretty. Maybe this would be a good color to color these little dots in. I think we're going to have to do his little uh, upper fins tomorrow. Okay, maybe we'll just make these pretty and dark. these okay so I think we're gonna add some pink hot pink fuchsia yep One twenty three. I think this is what that we put on the ends of the those little things that came out of the top part of this little jellyfish.
I'm thinking what color did we? I think we did it. And the purple violet. No, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> It'll be okay. Okay, so there it is. I think we'll just fill this part in. It'll bring some of that color down here. There it is. Well, he's certainly colorful. But we are going to have to finish him tomorrow. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know whether to leave that open or just put some I think we'll do the yellow again. And then go over it with some orange a little bit. Oh, I need a drink.
when your throat starts sticking together, it's time to get a drink. Okay, let's see. Try the orange glaze. And we'll come back in and we'll Little bright. I want it to be yellow, but I just don't want it to be so bright. Well, I hope you've enjoyed tonight. I think I'll probably I do another um, video in the mornings so I'll probably try to do at least three of these sides like this this side and we'll do just one side so that you can see how it's done tomorrow and we'll do the little fins in the morning let me stand up and look Well, he's, he's pretty. I think he's pretty. He, he, it'll be a nice page. It'll blend nicely together. Right? <laughs> I like it. Let's see if I can get it up high enough where you can see. There you go. Well, thank you very much for watching today. And, um, this is your first time, please subscribe. It really will let you know when I'm videoing and it will help my channel. It'll help other people be able to find it. And let me tell you all have value and worth. Don't let anybody tell you you don't. And if nobody's told you today that they loved you, let me be the first. I love you. I appreciate you. And I hope you'll have a, a good, good day. Bye.